What is your favorite toy? It's really more of a game, but I've always wanted to play dress up. I bet I'd look good in a hat. <laughs> I bet you do. I, I know. Yes, I know. It is long overdue, but today I'm going to show you and will give you some guidance on how to install the Google Assistant on your Galaxy Watch 4 and Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. No restrictions whatsoever. It is the real deal, but developed by a third party and the guy is called Alberto. He's going to ask you for some donation during the installation process, which is around five bucks. I have no commercial gain from you using it or installing it whatsoever. My goal is simply to provide you with the best possible usage and guidance for devices you and I use. And in this instance, it is the Galaxy Watch 4. Alternatively, you can obviously wait until Samsung and Google brings the Google Assistant to market. The choice is yours. I would also ask you to watch the entire video first. Yes, all of it. There may be some steps you want to do first or last. It's all up to you. Or there may be some steps you don't want to do at all and you don't feel comfortable with. One more small disclaimer. I didn't pay too much attention for perfect lighting and what have you. So I really just wanted to get going and show you this step-by-step -step guide. So let's do this. Okay, first step, you swipe down on your watch, you go to settings, you go to connections, you have to turn off Bluetooth. Make sure you have Wi-Fi enabled and you also are connected to a Wi-Fi network. This is important. Please do not change any of the settings until this is done. Okay, next step is to enable the developer option and there's nothing to sweat about. You can do this on any Android device whatsoever. You go back into settings, go to about watch, go down to software, tap on it and you will see software version. And here you tap on it a few times until you see the small pop-up coming up, developer options enabled. And once this is enabled, you go back into settings, tap on developer options. You will have this extra field now available for you to see. And you, you go in there, enable two settings. Number one is ADB debugging. That's you just basically press enable and then debug over Wi-Fi. And if the latter comes up with unavailable, like you see here, make sure your phone is also connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Otherwise it will not work. This is very, very important. If both devices are on the same network, then it looks like this. Now just leave the settings and go back to your app shelf, go to the Google Play Store, type in Wear Store as one word, it has to be one word, and then you will see Alberto's application will come up first, and then please download this to your watch, open it, and it will ask you to allow debugging, just press OK. And here you will notice that when you scroll around and you have a play already that you will not see, the Google Assistant right away. And there's a reason for it. I'm going to explain this now. So basically, Alberto is asking you for a small donation, which I said at the beginning, it's around five bucks and you have to do this via his website. It's fairly easy. I'm going to put the link down here. So once done, you can activate this via the Telegram bot. It's super easy. You enter your email address you use for your PayPal payment. You enter your serial number for your watch and you will automatically be activated. It's literally a 30 seconds step. And now you go back and you can see that the Google Assistant is suddenly visible. Okay, this upcoming step now seems more difficult than it really is. And I know that Alberto is working on an application that will automate the entire process, which is really sweet. But for now, we have to do this. I also suggest that you do this first because it doesn't matter when you do it, but when you have this generated file, what I'm going to show you now, this is, is an essential part. When you have this already ready, then it's more fluid when you go through the process and it's kind of more uninterrupted. So you can do this via the smartphone you have with your Galaxy Watch 4, which is kind of uh, very convenient because the file you download or you have to have is right here on your phone or you can do this via desktop which i have done and then you can transfer the file to the phone it's also easy you will find this then in the file download you need to go to google cloud console now log in with your google account fairly easy nothing to worry about it is basically google's own cloud platform no payment or anything else is required to do this but why is this important right now? Because this is the real deal. Now we get in the Google Assistant API. This is the real Google Assistant API. And it's no, nobody's done it somewhere secretly in the basement 
this is the real deal. And this is why we have to go through this process. And anyone can access Google's cloud platform to basically develop cloud native applications if you like. So once you logged in with your Google account, ignore all the pop-ups. And again, just to make sure no payment is required. On the top left, you can see that click on select project, click on a new project. And basically when it pops up the next window, just erase what is in there automatically comes up with something in there. Type in assistant. Once you've done this, click create and you will see loads of stuff. Ignore all of this and type in a search bar on the top assistant API. Click on Google Assistant API, press enable, next screen will come up. And here you press create credentials. Once you are into the next screen, you will see credential type. And from the drop down menu, select Google Assistant API. Tick user data and click next. Here, you basically just enter your email address twice and that's pretty much it on this page. Go down, save and continue, go to the next step. And on this page, you don't need to do anything. Just don't touch it, just go further, go down, scroll down to save and continue. Next page is again, drop down menu, select TVs and limited input devices. Then you go down, press create. And this page here is important. Please download this file. This is the file we will need for the Google Assistant to work. And this is the real deal. When you are doing this on your phone, you will have this automatically in your downloaded file, file download. If you've done this on your desktop, you have to transfer this file from your desktop to your phone. It's also easy. You can do it old fashioned way, send yourself an email, whatever, or whatever you choose, but it has to be on the corresponding phone for your Galaxy Watch 4. Okay, so just a few more steps before we are finished. Go to consent screen here on the left hand side, you can see it is and publish your application. So before publishing, it was in testing mode, but now it's published so we can use it. And you are officially now a Google developer. Okay, so I know, I know this is, this is a lot, but stay with me, we are almost there. It seems more difficult than it all is. Once you get hang of it, it's actually you, you're doing this within 10 minutes, I promise. Now we're done with the Google Cloud Platform. We have the file on our phone. That is very important for the very next step. And the last step, go back to your watch and open Alberto's Wear Store. Tap on the Assistant. It should be the third one down to install it. Uh, make sure you scroll down all the way. You won't see the install icon right away. Um, just make sure you, you, you see this. Press Install and then it basically comes up with it's done. And then it tells you to go back to your app shelf and open the Google Assistant. You have now the Google Assistant application as a standalone application in your app shelf visible. And for the last step, you will have to have your phone nearby. When you open your Google Assistant app on your watch, it will automatically come up with an activation screen on your phone. Here, it's very important that you put in your serial number and the file you created or we just created via the Google Cloud Platform. Please make sure you do this in the very same order. Alternatively, there's a way that you can scan a QR code. I haven't done this, I have done this this way, but there's also a QR code you can scan, which probably makes it a bit more easier. During this process, it will ask you to log in with your Google account, the assistant, the Google assistant need to be connected to your Google account. It obviously needs to know who it is working with. And that's normal. It kind of makes it more personalized. You can then add calendar events and what have you. But yes, also, and I promise that this is the last step. There's also this long code you will see. You need to copy and paste this code and put it into the activation page. You have the serial number. You remember the file we attached and then on the third box, there's this, there's this code, you just copy and paste, put it in there and that should all work fine. Go back to your watch, open up Google Assistant, choose your language and voila, you are here doing it right now, your Google Assistant for your Galaxy Watch 4. 
So it doesn't work with Hey Google yet, but you can remap the home button. That's what I've done. You can do this in the settings on your wearable app. Go to um, watch settings and then you have a double click and you can see by double click, it comes up here, the Google Assistant. Let me just show you this again. So, you know, I'm talking, I'm not talking out of my bottom. There we go. And here's the Google Assistant by double tapping the home button. So Alberto has given you also more guidance when you want to add a calendar event or you want to more personalize that with Google Home. There's also a section of that guidance of that installation guide that will help you really make it your own yourself. I'm going to put it in the description down below. I will leave the installation guide in the description below. You can follow the step by step or you can rewatch the video, whatever you prefer. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, like, comment or subscribe. It is highly welcome. Enjoy the Google Assistant if you have chosen to go for this route. If not, you can simply wait. But thank you for watching anyway. Peace out.